I need to find the home of the renowned clockmaker. With a bit of luck, I'll get some answers to my questions there and maybe a new watch. <sighs> That's double locked. New performances of Don Giovanni. It's so sad the opera bombed in Vienna. Still, here in Prague, it got the success it deserves. I have to say that people here seem to like dark mysteries. Maybe that's because they too hide secrets in the privacy of their homes, like the famous clockmaker. Speak for yourself, love. Somebody's up quite late. The coat of arms of the Epoch family, the blazon of the clockmaker's dynasty. Open up. It's a matter of life and death. I know you're here. Master Epoch is not home. You'll need to come back tomorrow, sir. I'm here to deliver your master a message from the Rose Cross. Oh, you attend the same discreet circles as my master? I guess in that case you do know the title of the First Manifest? No. You come across as too curious of affairs that don't concern you. Good night, sir. All right, now it's time for a puzzle. Hopefully, this one will not be muted like the last one. If it is, then maybe that's for the best, as mistakes will probably happen. That went better than expected. Right, let's have a look. Call to fraternity. Open up. It's a matter of life and death. I know you're here. Please don't insist. I don't see what else I can tell you, sir. What is it now, sir? Do you want me to call for the guard? The Call of the Brotherhood. The title of the First Manifest is The Call of the Brotherhood. That's a secret only initiated people share. Please come in, sir. And please accept my most sincere apologies. If you can bear with us for a few moments, take a seat in the music parlor so that you are comfortable while waiting for my master to return. Do you think he'll be home soon? We're going through confusing times, sir, and it would be difficult for me to tell you anything about my master's whereabouts. Let's see what's in there. Oh, here's a watch like the one I used to own. It could be useful in helping me to open the hidden door under the Bridge of Stone. Yeah, I'm sure that he won't mind us stealing one of his priceless watches. 
According to the title under the painting, this is supposed to be a portrait of Anton Epoch. Weirdly enough, that's the first time I ever see this face. Either the painter was extremely incompetent, or the young man that died at the temple only pretended to be Anton Epoch. Here's Mishka, the master clockmaker. He has quite a commanding look out there. Another harpsichord out of tune? It's a conspiracy, all right. Up to me to make it sound better. I've seen this image before. Oh, sure. That was the same imprint on the mysterious door underneath the bridge of stone. I wonder what's behind that panel. If I find a way to open it, I'll get a quick peek. Oh, believe me, I know from experience how long time can seem when you're all alone in such a vast house. Why is he speaking like this? He may be trying to disguise his voice, but surely the mask would be helpful in his disguise? Ah well, I'll let him be him. What do you know about the passion of my master for the Rosicrucians? The eccentricities of my master are mostly harmless. Still, wasn't he a friend of the Freemasons? He was. But there was some sort of a quarrel for reasons that, I confess, still elude me to this day. Tell me about the task the city has entrusted to your master. Mm, tradition requires that the best clockworker of the city receives the duty to maintain the masterpiece. It's a task my master does with great talent. How does your master proceed to attend to the clock? With diligence and utmost care. The house is close to the tower of the clock and my master performs frequent visits there. The harpsichord sounds out of tune. If you provide me with the appropriate equipment, I'd be more than happy to get it back to its proper tune. It seems that the appropriate key is somewhere in the desk on the first floor. Oh, thank you. Another harpsichord out of tune? It's a conspiracy, all right. Up to me to make it sound better. I will try. Let's see what's needed to get it back in tune. Let's start with the A. Yeah, we need to use this tuning fork. And we need to twist these knobs to make the notes back to the correct sounds but as you know i'm not very musically minded so i'm just going to go straight to the actual answers and that way we won't have to replace any broken chords he says we'll start with the a but let's start here There you go. I took the liberty of tuning your harpsichord. It should be much better now. If you'll excuse me, I have to attend to other affairs. You're excused. I'll just wait quietly for your master to come back.
I could have attempted to work that out on my own, but then this video would be about two hours long. Let's see what happens if I play the Allegro of my 38th Symphony, as I did under the Bridge of Stone. Hi there. It's a base on which one installs the mannequin, but the mannequin itself is missing. Hmm. This mask is the same one as the Major Dome wears, and it also looks like the one Joseph had in my dream. I wonder what clue these masks hide. Why is that on black and the other one's bronze coloured? Here's a mannequin on which hangs a costume that looks exactly like the one the Emperor usually wears. There's an open mechanical beetle next to this machine. This tool must be used to repair the automatons. A mechanical beetle. I'm sure that will come in handy very soon. I am a slave to God. Your face? That's uncanny. You look like a true brother to the Emperor himself. How is this possible? I am a slave to God. Your voice sounds familiar. We met before. In prison, do you remember? What are you doing here? I am a slave to God. Are you the angel, Gabriel? I doubt it. Maybe I am an angel. Do you speak in riddles? I'm not sure I'm grasping all the sense of what you're telling me. I am a slave to God. But you, you're not the angel Gabriel. I can't see the aura surrounding your physical envelope. Is Leopold ready to take Joseph's place? Other members of the court have expressed some reservations about our projects. He is absolutely on board with us. He assured me he'll be in Prague the day after the bombing. How does he feel about us Rosicrucians? He is quite God-fearing and does not feel at ease with your practices. Still, he won't be ungrateful, and he'll let you pursue freely your research, even if he disapproves of it. In any event, Bohemia will be under the protection of Prussia, and Vilna will make sure his brothers and I are safe. They're coming this way. I've got to find a place to hide. I can't be seen around here. Hmm... Is this the simpleton you mentioned? Yes, he's a farm boy Keller found for us. The resemblance is really striking. Do you think he could be the natural offspring of the Emperor, or maybe his father's? Frankly, I couldn't care less. Thanks to my little beetles, he'll be ready for tomorrow and perfectly docile to play his role. The Chief Inspector is proving to be a very precious auxiliary. You said it. He's a perfect operator for our projects. The way he set up Mozart was a masterpiece in deceit. Are you sure your beetles are going to fulfill their role? They're fragile, but I can make them perfect, thanks to the secret the Scotsman is about to reveal to me. I had him abducted, and now he is ready to talk. Now, let me show you out. You're right, there is so much left to do. I should not bother you any longer. The angel Gabriel visited me. And he is still among us. See how the angel watches us in silence? I have not had the time to proceed with his new brainwash, and frankly, he's starting to get on my nerves. Dear God, the simpleton nearly got me caught. I was lucky they were fully absorbed by their criminal plans. Thanks for trying to rat us out, pal. Ah, here you are. My master is back. I just met him coming here. 
Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, what an honour to greet you here in my modest house. We don't even know each other yet, and still you manage to cause me much worry. I had a difficult evening, and I think you're the only one in a position to enlighten me regarding the dramatic events that I unintentionally became a part of. You're quite right, but I don't really have time for an explanation. Uh, this being said, thanks to me, you're in a position now to be one of the key elements in a historical moment. Tomorrow night, you'll perform in front of a very selective audience the first score ever composed by my son, Anton. Don't mention it, but you'll be very well paid for this task. I rented the Nostitz Theatre. The acoustics are perfect there. Of course they are. And it also saves some money on... Designing a whole new theatre. I can't perform a symphony while I'm a fugitive of the law, accused of your son's slaughter. Slaughter my son? Oh, that's really nothing to worry about, especially if you consider the fact that he is not dead. The young man who brought you much concern at the temple was only a pawn. Anton is fine, if that helps cheer you up. Can I meet your son? If he is alive indeed, that will go a long way towards proving my innocence. Nobody doubts your innocence, Mozart. Not even Keller and the police. Your innocence is the very reason why we decided to have you join us here. Forgive me if I insist, but can you tell me where your son is? Very close to here, but I don't want you to see him now. He has this strange admiration for you. Sometimes it spooks me a bit. You'll meet him later. Who was the sorry impostor who died at the temple tonight? His passing does not seem to affect you in any way. He was one of my personal assistants. He had a mission, to check how well one of my creations was working. His death was untimely, but still it is merely an accident he brought upon himself by wrongly manipulating the device I put in his trust. Your creation? Are you talking about that amazing machine in the shape of a beetle? Absolutely. Very insightful, Mozart. And as you found out for yourself, I still have a few glitches I need to fix before my little wonders are perfect. What do you use these creatures for? Well, I guess you know from experience how someone can become a slave to rhythm, don't you? This influence is called animal magnetism. Thanks to the Beatles, I inject a rhythm in a subject, and that allows me to manipulate it as I please. Isn't that fascinating? Ain't it indeed. But let's get back to our deal. I'm told that you are always trying to make ends meet. If you perform Anton's piece, I'll pay you fifteen ducats. Alas, sir, I don't want to disappoint you, but what you call a piece is only a poor imitation of one of my own recent compositions. I won't go over this. Your reckless ego has already led you right in the middle of the trap Keller set for you. Stay humble and answer me humbly. Will you work for me? I just want a yes or a no. Something tells me that we don't have any choice in this matter. We may as well just go along with it. With it. Perfect. Very well thought out. You'll stay here until it is time to start the show. Here is more movement of the score to help rehearse. So you'll be able to familiarise yourself with the music. Here, I leave the sheet on the desk so you can rehearse. I have to escape from this place. I'm sure Anton knows the truth about all this. I need to talk to him. Yeah, let's just tell our plans in front of this servant right here. That's the third part of Anton's symphony. I should correct it. It seems the music has an effect on Mishka's machines. This could help me escape this predicament. Okay, this is not going to be easy. I always pet myself on the ass for getting these correct, but then afterwards I realised that I could have just looked looked at the scores online somewhere.
Whoops. Oh well. Oh dear. Well, this isn't going to be too hard to figure out. Four mistakes, not too bad so far. Ah, here we go. Let's see what happens if I play it on the harpsichord. The major dome seems to be in some kind of a trance. I can see something is stuck on his neck. A beetle. The beetle seems to be deactivated. I need to find a way to open it. Right. I'm guessing that we need to use this maintenance gear right here. Ah. Why is that awkward? I managed to open it. The mechanism seems more intricate than the one of the silver beetle. The problem stays the same. I need to synchronize its legs to get it to work. Same as before, but we now have two of these contraptions right here. Right, I'm not going to mess around. Let's go straight for the solution. I think that's it. Very well. It seems ready to work. I must try to get it to react to music. Here we are. I'd say this beetle is ready to function again. Huzzah and hurrah.
Oh, thank you, Master Mishka. I fell asleep for a moment. Please excuse me. How can I be of service? I am waiting for your instructions, Master Mishka. Rub your belly and pat your head. I'd like to go out. Certainly. I'll open the door without any delay. I am waiting for your instructions, Master Mishka. Give me your keys. Very well. Here are the keys. I am waiting for your instructions, Master Mishka. Do you know where I can find Anton Epoch? Yes, I saw the young master. I brought him his meal. But hush, he is locked away in a secret place. He does not like it, and he says he does not want to see you ever. I'm guessing that means he does not want to see Mishka and not Mozart. A masterpiece. I wonder what kind of mind can come up with such a perfect creation. Hmm. It seems that this box was added to the mechanism of the clock. I wonder what is its use. We need to put these cylinders into the correct order. You can try to figure it out by sounds, but it also helps that the length of these uh, spirals also is a, a hint of where these cylinder, cylinders should go. The longer the, the spirals, the longer the music. So one, two, three, four, this one. I could just try to do it logically, but I'm going to place them where they need to go to save time. Mozart, I'm so happy to meet you at last. Happy, but not surprised. I was sure you'd succeed in your quest and finally would find me here. How long have you been imprisoned here? Let's exit the tower. I long for the light of the stars. First of all, I want to apologize for drawing you into such a dark adventure. So be it. I will accept your excuses if you agree to reveal the truth to me. The truth is that when I found out what my father set out to do, I didn't know who to turn to. I understood he was going on a path of betrayal and dishonor. 
Still, I have to confess, I, I did help him with the development of his beetles. How so? We needed money to pursue our goals. My father was led into a bad case of unsavory trafficking. That's how he was first confronted with Keller and the police. Everything went from bad to worse after that. I don't understand. What was Keller's involvement? He's a spy for Prussia. He's been acting in the dark in Prague for a long time. He's an agent for the Hohenzollern, and it's their money that ended up financing us. And you agreed to betray our emperor without hesitation? Not at all, Mozart. My father was a patriot, but Keller applied a lot of pressure on him, and finally he consented to go to Berlin to meet with Volner. Who is this Volner everybody talks about? He is the prime minister of the Hohenzollern. The Grand Duke is under his spell. He pretends he has supernatural powers. Powers he inherited from the Rose Cross. What is my role in all this? I knew you were the Emperor's friend, and that you would stay loyal to him under any circumstances. I also know you are a genius. I was certain that you'd manage to counter their awful plans. To get you on your way, I thought up the plan of copying your score. I was certain you wouldn't rest until you find out who tried to imitate your piece. That was clever. When I heard your pastiche, I was quite angry. You didn't disappoint me, that's for sure. You managed to escape all the traps and finally got to me. My father decided to lock me up here when he discovered that I wanted to stop his dark endeavors. Did you manage to enter inside the pyramid? Which pyramid? Under Prague. There are ruins dating back to antiquity. Friends of my father have reproduced some kind of Egyptian pyramid in there. In the heart of this underground network, you will find the last part of my symphony. I left the last fragment there. I had to get rid of it in a hurry when my father started to suspect what I really wanted to do. So we are on the same side and I can tell you everything I know about their plans. What do you know about the conspiracy? I do not know the real nature of the conspiracy. All I know is that the Prussians want to seize Prague from the Holy Empire. Tell me about the pyramid. What is its use? My father operates from the pyramid they built underneath Prague. It used to be a temple dedicated to the cult of Mithra. How can I penetrate it? Did you find the door of Ray? I found some sort of door under the bridge of stone, but I couldn't open it. To open the door, you need to use one of my father's watches and reconstruct the course of the sun. The itinerary of Ray is symbolized by a barge. Here's what I know. The solar barge starts in the east, raises towards the zenith, and goes down towards the west. Finally, the barge goes back east towards the night and darkness. I say all this from memory, based on my father's notes. Lead the barge accurately, and you'll enter the pyramid. How about the mechanical beetles? What is their true nature? My father built different kinds of beetles that can be distinguished by the colors of their shells. Still, I don't remember all the details. Why did you imitate my creations? The pastiches were designed to draw your attention. Even more, when you'll have found the four movements, you'll have a powerful weapon against my father. By modifying the scores, performing them will allow you to take control of the metronomes that are the hearts of the beetles. In the depths of the pyramid, you'll find the column of harmony. It's there that I hid the fourth movement of the symphony. I promise I'll try to redeem the sins of my father. I never met you, and still, seeing you alive is the sweetest experience of these last few hours. Take good care of yourself, Mozart, for the Empire's sake. If you believe the future of the Empire lies on my shoulders, you picked a very weak adventurer to lead this quest of yours. Don't be so modest, Mozart. The greatest musical genius of all time seemed like a good adversary for my father. If we manage to escape in one piece, I promise, I'll teach you one or two tricks about composing that'll get people to think you're a genius, too. So let's go to the Bridge of Stone, and let's find out what the mystery of the pyramid is all about.